We can use Minitab to generate OC curves as well as the average of going quality curve and the average total inspection curves, and we can do them basically all at once. Under your Stat tab, Quality Tools, we are going to go to Acceptance Sampling by Attributes. Now, when this window opens up, you have to change this default to Compare User Defined Sampling Plan. And we are going to change this to number of defects because in the plans that we're talking about here, we are given an acceptance number. And if the number of defects in our sample is less than or equal to that acceptance number, then we accept the lot and otherwise we reject the lot. All right, so we got number of defects, and in the example shown in your notes, we are given, okay, I'm not bothering with any of this here at the moment. We were given a sample size of 89, and our acceptance number is 2. Now, if you only want an OC curve, you do not need to put in the lot size. But if you want the other two curves to go along with it, you do need to input this. And in the examples we are talking about, our lot size is 10,000. And we pick 89 samples. And out of those 89, if two or less of them are defective in some way, we would accept the entire 10,000 items. And if three or more of these things are defective in any way, we would reject the lot. Now, under the Graph tab here, Minitab will give us the OC curve. And by the way, if I hadn't indicated the lot size, uh, these two curves here, the average outgoing quality and the average total inspection, would not be options for me. And the default here is that it will give me all three of them on the one graph, which is convenient. So if I say OK and OK again, here I have all three together. And by the way, if you mouse over, you can find particular points on these curves. Uh, so as an example here on my average outgoing quality, your average outgoing quality, the number we're really looking for is the, uh, the number that's right at the top of the curve. And in your notes, I've quoted uh, a value of 0 0.0151482, which I can see. And I'll see if I move my mouse. You can't really see it. But I see there that my AOQ of 0 0.0151482 corresponds to an incoming lot defective per unit of 0 0.028, and that happens to be the highest point on this curve. And then down with the average total inspection, we worked it out in the notes, and it comes out to be 687, assuming that you have 1% uh, of your lot is defective in some way, and <clears throat> 0 0.01 is going to be, I don't know, somewhere in here. It's kind of hard to tell on this now. Oops, hang on now. See if this pops up. Yeah, so the number I'm looking for, the ATI, is going to fall somewhere between uh, the 0 0.012 and the 0 0.02. And, oops, sorry, that's wrong. Hold on. This is dicey. The number I want, the 0 0.01 is going to fall, sorry, between the 0 0.004 turn, and the 0 0.012. And the average total inspection for each one of those is 146 or 1012. Uh, we don't really want either one of them. We want 0 0.01. And it turns out that the 0.01 will give us an ATI of 687. So you can have these curves all generated onto one panel, or if I were to come back in here and say graphs and turn that off, 
then I would get three separate graphs. And sometimes three separate graphs are better if you're trying to see individual data points. So up to you how you want to do that.